Peggy 16. For more than a decade, the Armour series has proudly served as an open platform for a broad range of gameplay. So, to showcase just how easy it can be to discover, install and maintain custom content, we're releasing our very own official mod. Our ADR 97 pack is a collection of weapons that we're making available on Steam Workshop for everyone to download. The ADR is a small, nimble firearm with a high rate of fire. Relatively lightweight and highly maneuverable, it's a lot of fun to use and packs a fairly decent punch. Getting a hold of this mod couldn't be simpler. Just browse, enable and play. Let's take a look now. First off, you can access Armour 3's workshop in a number of ways. Via a web browser, directly in the in-game overlay or by using the Steam client itself. For the sake of simplicity, let's use that option for now. In the workshop, you'll find a number of options to help explore and filter the content, such as item type, rating, etc. In this case, we can go to the search field and enter official mod. Once selected, you can take a look at the item, check out the media, metadata and description, and so on. If you like what you see, hit the big green subscribe button, and if all's well, you'll spot a wee confirmation. Now we can hop back into our library and run Armour 3, which will trigger the game launcher. Selecting the Mod tab, we can see all the mods that we have available, together with a few options. From this menu, you can enable and disable items with ease. Let's make sure the official mod is selected and launch the game by hitting the play button. Once we're up and running, on the main menu, you'll spot the icons of the mods that you've got loaded. Now let's dig into the content. To do that, we'll fire up the 3D editor and use some of its splendid new features. Let's drop down a basic rifleman by searching the asset search field and dragging him into the scene. As we can see, for the moment at least, he's equipped with a standard issue rifle. Right clicking to open up the context menu, we can pick the edit loadout option. This mode enables us to set up various items for our character. Selecting the rifle tab, we can switch between all the weapons in the game's library, including our mods. We can easily spot our ADR by its special mod icon. Once set, we can take our new toy for a test drive. We hope you'll enjoy this free additional weapon and have found this quick guide to Armour 3 Steam Workshop helpful. Of course, there's a ton more community-created content out there. Thousands of workshop items alone, ranging from single scenarios, large-scale multiplayer game modes, to huge packages of weapons and vehicles, and much more besides. There are also many other ways to discover and maintain this content, from long-standing websites and hosts, to community apps that sync your precious custom data for you. We're constantly blown away by the quality, variety and creativity of mods out there. So last but by no means least, we'd like to sincerely thank our dedicated community of creators. Bye for now.